Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Battletech, the Kerensky Redux series. I'm your host, Colors Fade. It's episode 87. We have two assassination missions and then a smash and grab recovery up here to do. So nice, should be tough missions, jungle and a highlands. They should be fun. Jungle. Hmm. Okay. Let's take a look at this. Whereas these are assassination missions, I think it's going to go with the other Marauder, not the SPPC version, but our more Gauss rifle version. And we'll switch these folks around like this, and we'll go with Breaching Shot, so let's grab Brother. And do we have anybody else here who would be good? These are five Skull missions, so we want our toughest hombres ready to go. So I think we'll do this. This should be fun. I always love assassin mission, assassination missions. They're pretty much my favorite missions other than straight up battles. I like the more complicated battles, especially when you have teams and teamwork and stuff like that. But these are always fun. It's a victor. So again, the AC-20 is going to be in play. We're going to want to eliminate that as quickly as possible. He has two supporting groups so he's got a group that's going to come from over there and then he's got a much closer group over here uh our cover is going to start and end here so it's going to be a little rough probably i'm walking here this looks like a prime spot for an ambush be careful and our, unfortunately, our ambush here is uh, going to be cars. Onward. So, oh my gosh, I think I have another cat hair under my laser. I hate that. I don't know that it's a cat hair, but there's something with this table that every now and then causes my laser to go wonky. Uh, which is real unfortunate. Laser on your mouse, I mean. There's a demolisher LBX, so it's the shotgun version. Here comes an actual mech this time. Waiting for orders. He he can get a straight shot there, but let's see what about this guy. He actually can get a straight shot. That'd be great. Yeah, baby. Give it your best Austin Powers. I didn't take him out because the 75%, so. But this should do the job. Possibly a little overkill there, but I don't care about that. I care about things being dead. <laughs> is that a safe spot for you? It is. Okay. Safe spot meaning there's cover. It's an archer. So we'd be happy to shoot it in the head if we could. Oh, he got a little strafing there. It's going to give our Marauder a good chance to shoot him in the head and finish him off next round. He's going to get first shot. He can get one from there. Let's see if he has it in him. Nope. Firing all weapons, but not all weapons hitting. Okay, well, do we still have enough? We do have enough resolve to take another shot, so might as well. Oh, everybody hitting, but not hitting in the face. Well, darn. Just abuse him then. That's all you can really do. Did that knock him over? Oh no, it got him right to the verge, didn't it? He has his own salvo of missiles to shoot at us. Waiting for orders. Yeah. Well. Fire away. This will probably core him out. Very close. Here comes a battle master. 
one of those mechs that just always looks way more intimidating than it really is. It looks like it's got a lot of weapon points on it. Oh, here we go. Now things have changed. Heavy Duty is up, and he's got a ton of damage reduction, so shooting him in the head is not a good idea. Uh, I am going to back this guy up and take a shot at the Battlemaster. Oh my god, he missed. He missed completely with that Marauder shot. Come on, our other boys. Time to kill some things really fast. Mm. Ugly. That's not my frontline one. So you shouldn't be taking those hits. Okay. Boy, I don't know about this. What can I hit him with? I can shoot him with the Gauss and hope I get lucky. Oh, and I can hit him with the Ultra Auto Cannon 20. Okay. Bombs away on him. That and that. Just like that. Okay, but this is going to be a B. There we go. Well, it's going to... He might knock this guy down or kill him. No, his CT's gone, so he's destroyed. That's actually good. Our primary target is taking damage. That's not going to be enough to make him run. And that's a complete miss on both weapons at 60%. Well, yeah, I know. None of us... We're getting some pretty bad dice rolls here early on. The Marauder is missing as if he's blind. Everybody's like they're blind fighting, so... And we have no... Uh, I can't see anybody out there, can I? Okay. Well, that's interesting. We're going to have to shoot at this guy then because we can't shoot at the main guy until we have a really good headshot on him. Otherwise, he'll run, and I don't know where that running would take him. So we're better off just kind of coring this guy out. Right there, they love that soft spot on me. That's where we were wounded all the last planet. Probably not a lot left there in the middle. He's going to get a chance to shoot his big cannon, though, isn't he? Oh, nope. He's just, uh... Hmm, that's interesting. Okay. We're going to reserve... I want my Marauder to get a headshot at somebody. Hmm, let's reserve again and see what happens. I have 57 resolve. If I kill somebody, I can take two headshots. Receiving you. I don't think that's a big deal down there. I'm going to shoot this guy and then peel one piece of evasion with this. Straight shot and it hits the other guy instead. Hit him in his right arm, too, where he's got his auto can. Alright. Oh, he's going to move a little bit. Right there in the shoulder. They do like that. It's like a magnet. Hmm. Okay. Well. Standing by. On my way. I'm going to shoot this thing and breaching shot that. He's designed to take that punishment, so not worried about that. This guy here, yeah. So I got enough. I don't have enough resolve yet. It's 57. 
Alright, well, in that case, I'm gonna try to take off his arm here. And if he hits him in the head, that's fine. He's gonna be running. Oh no, he's coming closer. Ah, okay. In that case, I have zero chance of hitting that thing in the head, but I'm gonna try and do it anyway. Oh no, no I'm not. No I'm not, no I'm not, no I'm not. I'm gonna just sensor lock him. I've got a sensor lock. Don't have enough for a precise shot. Since the big guy wants to come closer and isn't immediately running away, I'm just going to res reserve and see what happens. Because he moved. Great. I would like to get the victor in the head here, but... He's got a lot of damage reduction. So let's do this. You can, um, yeah. Front guy, right here. Can you see two guys there? You can't. This guy can, because he's got massive rangefinder. So what do you have? A thunderbolt and that punk here. Okay, let's do a breaching shot over here and shoot everything at him and a breaching shot over there. Oh, we have one of those. It's got to be an Orion, doesn't it? Or I guess it could be a Victor. Okay, now he can see in all directions. I'm going to take an evasion off of him. Doink, doink, doink. Yay. Here goes the other arm. He ain't got much left. He's probably going to run now, isn't he? Some heavy damage. No, he's not running. I'm here. Do you really have a straight shot at him from there? Can, what happens if we back up a little bit? Can we get everybody? We can. Alright, what do you have here? Big hit. Gauss rifle. Okay. Shoot that. Shoot your other two things at that guy. I figured we weren't going to get a good headshot at him. He just kept hiding in cover, so. Who's left? You are? Mr. Okay. Probably 0% chance to headshot you, but let's give it a shot. Right in the center. 69. <laughs> oh, let's reserve. Let's let's wait for the Orion to come. Where is that beast? Until an oh, it's a Highlander. Alright, so what do you have on you? An AC-10, yeah. And you are have no protection whatsoever. Awesome. Okay. In that case, what we'll do is poke and breaching shot. Yeah, I wanted to make him unsteady. And... 61. Another one. 
these are the ones worth headshotting. They're going to be expensive medics. Okay. Yeah, my friend, this is your job. This is right in your wheelhouse. Make it happen. Okay, he's dead. I like that. You are the frontline fighter. So the backline fighter needs to move here a little bit. Let's just breach and shot, you guys. I'm only trying to damage him enough to give me enough movement for him to move out of cover next turn, although it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Keep hitting him in the chest there. So got left. Ammo explosion. Oh, that's always awesome. That is always fantastic. Hey, look, it's the straggler. Is it a king crab? Because it's so slow? No, it's a car. Darn it. Okay. Now we get, you got plenty of damage reduction, don't you? All right. Um... That's what I want. It's a Shrek PPC carrier. Yeah. Okay, he's gonna move over this way so that he can take care of that thing. Oh, hey! Wow, you got him with just that? That's a miracle. That never happens. Alright, we have full power to shoot this guy in the head. Oh my goodness, even with all that damage reduction, we got a lot of bullets right there in his face. In your face! Wow, that was kind of stunning. Did not expect that. That made up for all the misses earlier. Pirates take a hit. Minus 11. Reputation, not good, but... Look at all these Highlanders. I mean, you have to take these. They're 90 tons. Just gotta grab them. Hope we get some more. We got... All the Highlander pieces. <laughs> oh, nothing else. It's such a shame. It would be so nice if you could get all of the partial mech salvage on every mission. Then you could make your sea bills pretty easy. At least we did get two Highlanders out of that. Alright, next mission. Assassination again. Same deal. This one's against the Federated Sons. So we'll take our same people. And then we'll figure out, after we do the Federated Sons mission, the last mission here, we'll figure out where the heck we need to go next. Getting down to the nitty gritty. Not a lot of systems net left, and not a lot of pirate systems left. That's the unfortunate part. And some of the pirate systems that are left really need us to have high pirate faction because there are going to be five skull missions. We saw that last episode when we stopped somewhere, and it was a three and a half skull mission with tons of five skull contracts because because it can go up to. I think two skull is higher than whatever the skull of the system is. So that's a look like a banshee, I think. So where are the supporting forces? There are some off to the left there. There's our head guy off to the right. Where's, where's those guys? And where's... The, oh, and they're... What? They're behind us? Oh, man. Okay. In that case... I don't like that. Keep your eyes peeled, Commander. This looks like an ideal place for an ambush. Thank you, Mommy. Are you gonna sew my name to the inside of my underwear too? Darius? Gonna 
hang out there, eh? Hmm. Roger. Coordinates received. On my way. I don't want to go much further because then I'm out of cover. I kind of want someone to find me. Can you... Yeah, you can't. That's a cliff. So the only thing you can really do is go down here. On my way. Hunkering down. He's got it. He's right up in there, isn't he? Let's get him to move. Then we can worry about just fighting the mech groups. Okay. Yeah. How far can you sprint? If I sprint, you can see me, what, up there? Almost? I want him to have to move. Still not moving. Wow. Okay. And you can't see him. I'm just going to brace then. Roger that. Digging in. There he is. Right in the face. Took off half my armor there in the face. Okay. Well, Annihilator, this is your chance to be a hero. Target damaged. Concentrate your fire and bring it down. Trying. Uh disbrace. Let's do this. Hmm. Forty two resolve. Reserve. Oh god, they're right behind us. They're going to get a shot in the back here any second, aren't they? And they're literally right behind us. That's not good. It's a back shot waiting to happen. Um, hmm. This Annihilator's got to turn around. So this has got to be the one to shoot. Oh, yeah. This one can see, can it? Okay. Not good. Not good. Commander. This one. Confirm. You gotta headshot this thing, buddy. Not happening. Hmm. What can I do with my... How close are we to the wall there? Not close enough for me to do what I really want to do. Okay. On my way. We're going to shoot everything at you. No, we're not. We're going to breach and shot with this big bad boy. That's what I'm talking about. Headshots. Okay, just sensor lock him then. I've got a sensor lock. Let's go. Thing is, I, I need to crawl up here and get in cover. Another head hit. They're they're trying to kill me. This mission's trying to kill me. Okay, take this guy out. Not happening. We're in bad shape here. This is a really bad mission. This just in. Critical hit. No, it wasn't. It wasn't even close. It was a garbage hit. Oh my gosh, it was so garbage. 
so garbage. Okay. I think maybe the only responsible thing to do here is try to core this guy out, but a headshot should do it because he's what? A headshot might core him out. He might just hit a whole bunch in the center there. Yeah, right there. Pop. Yeah, there it goes. Okay. So that guy's done, which is good. Oh, man. See, so can't. Uh, right. The Annihilator has more armor than the Marauder, so if anybody's going to be up front here, it should be him. Hmm. Okay, let's do this. Doink, doink. Very close. Who's left? You? Yeah. And you still can't see anything? Oh, man, you're not close enough to shoot, eh? Okay. We're getting attacked from all the angles. I await your command. Well then. Hmm. All right. You do have a chance to hit this thing in the head. A chance. Lasers for the win. Okay. Now let's switch places. You are not a mech that can take head hits. You're not designed for it. Barely a hit, Commander. Bunch of quick draws, man. Remember what I was saying earlier in the series about how some people were telling me they never see quick draws? I don't know how that can be possible. It's the most common heavy mech. It's just amazing. It's all over the place. Yeah. Okay, you get up here and protect him a little bit. Shoot everything at him and one at him. Like that. Like that. That's how we like it. Can you just, yeah. Coordinates received. It's one each. Oh, ammo explosion, always good. Excellent, okay. You, gonna back up just a little bit. You're gonna try to face time this guy <laughs> there are a lot of bullets going into that head and we still have that's an Orion I think and the only reason he didn't shoot his auto cannon again is because he didn't have line of sight so I'm going to reserve that guy. Holding Are these all quick down. draws? No, there's a catapult. Okay. One more. I'll just mind my own business till an opportunity presents itself. Ouchie. I'm showing minor damage. Cataphract. Oh, it's a cataphract. Oh. Plays a lot like an Orion, doesn't it? <laughs> it got me lined up there. Okay. Commander. In our quest to continue finding cover. <laughs> So what do we have here? We got that, that. Oh, let's 
poke some stuff into the cataphract and then uh, went into this guy because I need to Roger. give people a chance to headshot things oh yeah he's got a weak stomach doesn't he Reporting critical hit. it's a little hurt 80 tons of fun back there Okay, you get to do that. Poke. Uh, okay, sure. Do that. And one in there. That's what I like to see. Dude on the ground. Hmm. In that case, yeah, we got enough resolve for two headshots. Try to poke him. Well. One left that's one way to do it. What's up, boss? Can't quite. Yeah, we're just going to do this. Okay. Try to headshot this guy. Take out his core. Oh. Reporting critical hit. Let's do this. It would probably be a good idea to shoot that cataphract before it gets up. Oh, they don't like me at all. I know they don't. I'm receiving you. Yeah, so let's shoot this cataphract. On the way. I'd like to shoot it in the leg, but this thing can't do enough firepower to take down that leg. Yeah, 110 plus 75, not gonna happen. Hit him in the head. We'll take that. Farewell, sweet Removes an auto cannon from the field of play. Just uh, orders. Receiving you. Hmm. Move order received. It just had that feel, didn't it? It's just the last couple missions it felt like somebody was gonna get head capped. That's too bad. Where's your ammo? Fuck you. Very frustrating. Nebula was working his way up into superior pilot position there. It wasn't quite a 10-10 pilot, but he was getting there. And to have it basically ruined by that jump, that's just... This doesn't sit well. And by, and, and by a thunderbolt, no less. I mean, it's just... <laughs> Oh. A thunderbolt. Which is not a head capping machine at all. Who's left? 80 tons of what? A victor that's gonna come in there and... Hey, what? What did I say? 
A victor, yeah. Okay. Ready for orders. Moving to position. I'm not screwing around here. Make use of your one shot, pal, because that's all you're gonna get. Well, Mission successful. <laughs> you can call it successful, and technically it is, but to me that's a fail. Whenever you lose a, a pilot and a mech like that, that's a fail. There goes the cockpit mod. Uh, what should have been a pretty nice run for us becomes a disaster. because we not only lose that pilot, we lose that mech for the rest of the time we're in this system, and we lose a cockpit mod. I don't know how many I have left, if I even have any left. Which would mean that between traveling between this system and the next, we would probably have to strip one off of a mech. That mech is ready to fight. That mech you asked, that mech you wanted, is back online. Darius... I don't care about pilots needing experience because guess what? The guy who did need experience just died. So Nebula becomes the fourth casualty. That's tough. Rank elite. Kickstarter backer boot camp died. So he was an elite mech warrior. That's hit in the head by an enemy thunderbolt. Hit in the head by an enemy king crab. Hit in the head by an enemy hunchback. Hit by an enemy thunderbolt. So three of these guys because of headshots. And and that's with me being very aggressive trying to take out every auto cannon that I see that could potentially do the most damage. And it ended up being a thunderbolt without an auto cannon that got us. So imagine how many more people might be on this memorial wall if I wasn't so aggressive about trying to take out the head cappers that's sad um and and do they have anybody here at the hiring hall who's got some points in them okay there's a breaching shot guy right there scandal you're hired and i don't think this this shouldn't affect our mech war experience game because our 10 10 guys are still good that was just somebody who happened to be close we've got one more contract in the system so we might as well do it because it's just a straight up recovery. But now we don't have that that mech. So what we have to do is rely on the old fashioned Atlas. And who wants some experience? Frag, you look like you could you could do that job. Okay, recovery in the Badlands. Let's go do it. And after that, we'll take a look at our mech configurations. We also have that Highlander there. I think that Atlas got hit three times in the head that mission. Isn't that correct? So it just really felt like the AI really wanted to take out my pilot to get hit three times. Okay, we know which one this is. It's this map. There are two ways to go about this. You can go down this left side and try to come up through there. I don't like it because there's less cover. So I like to go this way. Out the back side. This to me is the better approach. We're going to pause here. Make sure everybody's in cover before we go up to the next stretch. On my way. Position confirmed. Rolling. It's only the one recovery location here, so. Got company. On my way. We got Max. We got another victor. 
right there. He's not. I'm ready. He does. Oh, hold on. If I move you there, can I move you in a position to where you have an unobstructed shot? I can. Now you're gonna be vulnerable. Oh no, I can't. You still got an obstruction in the way. Whoa. Game lag there for a second. I was worried it was going to bomb out. That was a little concerning. Now my Marauder's out here taking it off the chain. Ace pilot. Ace Ventura pilot. This guy. There we go. Hmm. Okay, poke everything into him and take an evasion off of him. Now, who's he gonna shoot at? Not the Marauder. Yep, the Marauder. All right, then. Pokey pokey. Was that a 90% Gauss rifle shot that missed? Or was it 90% after it missed? What do we got over here? Him. Okay, let's do this. Doink, doink, doink. That's what I like to see. I know, right? Yes, Commander. Back up. I'm walking here. Try to take this guy out. Nope. Not gonna happen. Another quick draw. I'm showing minor damage. It's a lot of mechs shooting at each other. Alright, the guy on the ground. Yes, boss. Receiving you. Kill him. Kill that leg. What's he got left in his center torso? 40, you're not going to be able to hit. You're going to core him out. Right. Aimed at the leg and all we did was hit the center torso. Get up there where you're tough. Let's see. Doink. Doink. Do we have enough for a headshot? We do. Is there anybody in particular we want to head shoot? He's got an arm missing. He's got an arm missing. Let's try to headshot this guy. Even though he's got two evasion pips. Now he's down. Waiting for orders. On my way. On my way. Vengeance cannot yeah, fill the hole in my heart. <laughs> oh, really? Really? Look at that karate kick going up there and hitting that shoulder. Zap, zap. 
Well, that was uneventful. What about... Can, can you... Yeah, just... Copy that. Just try to shoot him in the head. What's he got left? We hit him. We obviously hit him in the chest with our... Yeah. With our punch. Alright. Yes, Spaniel. Can you get in there? Moving to position. That's the spot. Well, there we go. A little quick and dirty recovery. Not a recovery mission you got to worry about because there weren't two groups of mix and two recovery points. So anytime there's one late this late in the game it's versus two, it's pretty easy. Uh, the victor... Victor spoils. <laughs> Look at all those quick draws. And I got people on Reddit and stuff trying to tell me I never see quick draws. And all I can think of is you obviously have never played a campaign to the end. Because <laughs> if you did, if you'd never played the career mode to the end, you that's just not possible to not get a quick draw. It's not possible. There's, there's, they're so abundant. There's no way you can make that claim. I mean, I couldn't complete my career mode because I didn't get a quick draw. Baloney. I couldn't do mech completion because I didn't get a quick draw. I call BS. <laughs> Not possible. Alright, so let's see if we have um, what we need to buy here. We need a cockpit mod to fix our... Once again, blown up that Atlas 2. It's designed to be the tank, but sometimes the game says, eh, we're going to make you pay for that. We got a cockpit mod too. Good. All right, my boy. Still got a couple of cockpit mods. That's nice. Well then, since there are no more contracts in this system, let's go look at the store. And we have partial mech salvage. New equipment available. Highlander, look, you can buy two whole dragons. New equipment. Pintaro, Panther, Phoenix, New Urban Mech. Available. Always buying those. Those are great. This is gonna get us into there. New equipment available. Urban Mech. And a Vindicator. New Available. So those are done. I'm not worry, going to worry about selling them at this system. I didn't. Oh, there's a snub PPC. Buy. New buy. Okay, we're going to go adjust our snub PPC dude then in the mech bay. Because remember, I said they didn't all have plus pluses on them. So that Marauder is right here. Going to refit him. Let's see what the difference between the snub PPC and the PPC plus plus is. I hit this button. I want you to do the thing. <laughs> Go to your JSON files and load the details. <laughs> All right. Snub PPC. What's the difference? This one is plus 10 damage and the other one over there is minus five heat. Oh, well, baby. We're gonna take, oh, and plus four accuracy. Okay. Well, in that case, we're going to take that one out and put stability damage and minus 10 heat. Wow. Okay, do the stability damage. Minus 10 heat. That would be great. And that's... But nobody has a weight change. I was wondering if any of them had a weight change. So, snub PPC, snub PPC, snub PPC. Did I just buy PPC++? No, I didn't. Okay. Yeah, so plus 10% damage. Mock energy ballistic. Hmm, that's interesting. How much does this thing weigh? One damage, zero stability. It's one ton. Oh, it takes up three slots. It's a tag, though. 
Specialized piece of equipment that paints the target for better impact efficiency from direct fire weapons. In practical terms, this means that incoming damage from ballistic and energy weapons is boosted against any target that has been hit with a tag shot. Since it's only one ton, I almost want to take it and try it. Because you could just take off a standard heat sink. What if we did it? And put it here. I want to try that. That sounds kind of fun, because if you're going to miss the headshot, then at least let everybody else do some more damage. Right. I'll get it okay. So navigation. This is going to be the hard part. Figuring out where to go next. Oh, boy. So we're in Jackson. Yeah, travel contract is somewhere we've already been. So we're in Jackson. i got to pull up the map. So I did a little bit of the route planning here in Jackson. Fraser, Dale, and Horsham are all blue systems. Fraser is a three and a half skull system. Dale is a four skull system. And then uh, I think you can get to Horsham from there. And it's also a four skull system. Our biggest problem is going to be reputation, of course. You can see Federated Sons. They're high. That's great. We want Draconis Combine to go up. But the pirates are at 44. And that's going to hurt us. So. I want to be able to do pirate missions. But we just may not get a lot more time to start dealing with that. So we're going to go to Fraser first. There's Dale. If you go like that, you can get the next two. We're going to pause over each of them. Stop. They're blue. The next three are blue systems. Fraser, Dale, Horsham. They're all blue systems. You can just stop at any of them and see. I wrapped up that job you asked for, Commander. By the way, as I'm recording this video, I have finally started playing MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries. You all probably saw the first look video on my channel. It's a fantastic game. It is so cool. I'm having a lot of fun with it. There is one thing that's kind of bothersome about it. And fortunately, thank goodness, somebody made a mod to fix it. The, the radar, the sensors in the game are basically glorified line of sight, which is really annoying. And in particular, it's annoying for someone like me who grew up playing the... Not grew up. I was an adult, but played the first early MechWar games, MechWar 2, 3, 4, Mercenaries. And they just had a standard radar. <laughs> Which makes it useful if you want to use LRMs, of course. I guess it's too difficult for them to program um, the way it should be. Which is if somebody in your party has line of sight to something, you have you have a radar fix on it. They say it's MechWarrior Online version. Oh, look at this. It's a chance for us to get Pirate Faction back up. Oh, man. This could not be more perfect. Oh, no way. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Store, tell me that there's mech parts to buy here. Oh, there is. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, there's Ultra Allo Cannon 20 if we need it. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe this. I've been having such bad luck lately. Travel to system. Folks. On the next episode, we are going to hammer this system. We're going to do some pirate faction ones first and really get at it. Oh my gosh, I'm so thrilled. We need to take one more quick look before the end of this episode to see exactly what we're doing. Contract-wise, because what was it? Our Davian is like 88. It's 88. Remember, if it goes below 80, then you can't do five skull ones. But do we even have a five skull contract in the system? We have one for them. Okay, so this is going to be... This is against Davian. This is against Davian. And this is against Davian. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. So we can do this one. And it's against Davian. <laughs> this is perfect. Oh my gosh, I couldn't be more happy. All right, folks. Thank you for watching, as always. And if you dig it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you all next time. Leave questions and comments down below. Maybe we can turn this around.